Christina here with Heroes Barn Homeschool Academy. In today's lesson, we are going to work on our listening and verbal training skills while learning more about immortality, the virtue of the week. If you're ready to begin, let's start with a word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, hi, I welcome you today. Thank you for coming by. If you have your language arts workbook, you may go ahead and open it up to page 203, and you'll be exactly where you need to be for today. We're talking about the virtue of immortality. We call it a virtue, although it probably isn't necessarily classified as a the virtue though to get to this immortality that is prompted and talked about so much in the bible it does require virtuous characteristics doesn't it yeah as you've learned so far it's hard to get this without having the love and obedience and humility that god has shown us in this class and in the bible by following the lifestyle of jesus christ so immortality is not necessarily a virtue, but it's going to be the end result of going through Jesus Christ and following after his lifestyle. Oink, oink. So it's really good. We have a three-step process to commit this memory to our, uh, commit this verse to our memory. Step one, you listen in as Mrs. Nita recites the memory verse. Step two, you join in and repeat after me as prompted. In step three, we commit it to memory by repeating this memory verse um, until we've got it in our memory banks. If you're ready, tug at your ears and listen in. But it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. 2 Timothy 1.10 Let's try that again. But it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Okay, this is a little bit lengthy, but let's see if we can break it down together, okay? I'll say a line, you can just repeat after me. But it has now been revealed, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel, 2 Timothy 1.10. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? But it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. 2 Timothy 1.10. Great job, wonderful work. So what we're going to do now is recite the memory verse together and, um, and see if we can get it mastered without looking at the prompt. Although if you still need to, that's okay. Here we go. But it has now been revealed through the appearing of our savior, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. 2 Timothy 1.10. Let's try that again. But it has now been revealed to us through the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. 2 Timothy 1.10. Excellent work. Good job. We may continue to ruminate on that memory verse until it becomes a part of who we are so that we can come to better appreciate immortality and the person through whom we receive our immortality. And that's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for coming to class today. And until next time, God bless. I'll be your hero's body. And as you study with heroes born